I've done a lot of time in prison. It's just the area you live in. It's you're labelled by one paramilitary group or the other. If you cross a peace lane, then they know exactly who you are or what you are, and you're always looking over your shoulder because you don't know who's going to come up behind you. Or, and it's places you do go, you know. You have to watch what you say because you're from the lower shankle. You are labelled no matter where you go. As the shankle seem to look down on the lower shankle. We're like second class citizens on our own road. You've got that stigma of it's past. The press doesn't help. Forever saying they're all drug dealers, they're all scum. Kick them when they're down. The people on the lower shankle are 100% genuine people that want to move forward, but unfortunately we're not allowed. It's always like somebody hitting you with a stick. And it's thanks to their, our own people on the road too that give them a stick to beat us with. This um, place shouldn't go to um, place you can't go because it's Protestant and Catholics. You don't know if which places you can go in and then if people's thinking, oh look, she's a prod or they're looking at you up and down so you don't know really what to do. Like put you off going into places like that. The difficulties is you can't let your kids out to play because there's a lot of bullying and the kids can't go out to play and it's all wrong. When you're first getting into other areas, it's hard because people know you're from a shangle, so they all know why you think you're a present. Because of these peace lanes, it might take you 20 minutes. For a five minute walk, if you could go through the peace lane, people from the other side know if you're cutting through it, what religion you are, you're identified. You just can't take the chance of maybe getting a kick in or thing. When I was growing up, you were fighting with Catholics, you were fighting with police all the time. Once you see like a, a helicopter up, you know there's something going on. And if you've seen a Land Rover, you just want to attack it. It's just mayhem. You couldn't walk through the peace lanes or anything like that. Bomb shootings, it was, that was just normal. If you didn't have a bomb or a shooting, then you wouldn't have nothing on top of it. It was just everyday life over here. The biggest majority of people in Shangle State area or Protestants, they, they're in the same boat as me. They've been to jail. Most of your friends are growing up, maybe a year or two older than they're going into paramilitaries and we believe we're fighting a war, but and the whole time it's just sectarianism. I mean, you look at, we're very much the same on both sides. We just didn't see each other as the same. I run about with a bad crowd, paramilities, but they were the main crowd. It was just way of life. It was just normal. Being convicted in jail of terrorist offence means that that's me getting stigmatised for the rest of my life. No matter where I go, no matter what I do, it's, it's always going to pop up. It was a dirty war and we were just pawns in it. We were just used to counteract what the government couldn't do. would paint a bad picture to anyone, anything can spark it, and then it just gets blew way out of proportion. did get involved in some rats in my past life, but just done it because my race were doing it, just like most of them now. When there's trouble at, at the likes of Twadio with, with the police line up there, the noise, the helicopters up, seeing the Land Rovers, the police going up and down the road and the sirens up, it can get pretty hurry and You've got to worry about your own children and children that you're as our youth workers. We've got to look out for lemons. I've had to go around to uh, help my family. The house is getting attacked. Rubber bullets shot in at you, you know, and water cans come blasting in and hitting you in your garden. All you're doing is defending it. They're attacking us instead of attacking the people who are from Bergen. They're attacking everyone that just don't care. 
all these peace walls it's defending the two communities from the shackle and the falls it just makes the communities look dirty with like a video on it then all the slogans against each other it's just it's just dirty if I, if I could I would take them all down and make everyone just peaceful because of the stigma we've got it's united a whole community and the whole community is moving forward People in the shackles wouldn't believe you if you say there's Catholic kids running about round bonfires, bomb parades, nobody's saying a word to them. Very little trouble. It's just a new generation of Catholic kids coming here in Palestine and they all get on so great. It didn't happen overnight, it was so hard to get this. Men won't go and challenge the office because of the repercussions that come. I honestly got to the stage where I didn't care. I have family growing up in this estate. I don't want my kids growing up the way I grew up, with hatred. I mean, I lost 13 years of my life in jail because of what I thought was my beliefs. I just don't see the point in hate. We're all human beings, why hate each other? No peace lines, no religious fighting, no sectarianism, 100% peace. People have to live together, people have to get on. No sides, no Catholics, no Protestants, we're all human.